Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. It's me, your girl, Cheryl Rose Green. As you guys know my testimony from victim to victor and from deportation to documentation. My testimony was not completed. Um, Y'all know my story. In the country, United States, for 30 four years, 36 years, undocumented for 30 years. I was in deportation proceedings for 15 years. Reason being, um, my mom had passed away and I desperately wanted, you know, where my mom and all these things and someone gave me papers and um, a year later the feds came and got me it was very very frightening it was very hard for me but the past of my mom then I was incarcerated and stuff like that they charged me for false information in obtaining a passport I was in a very dark place because my mom had passed and I just wanted to see my mom, you know. And, um, sorry guys, but I had to share this with you because you guys was with me throughout my journey. Some of y'all know my story. And um, I was in feds. Feds come and got me. And then two years later, the state come and got me. I was in immigration two times. And it was a struggle for me. God is awesome. Um, he's awesome, guys. God is awesome. And um, very frightening. Never got locked up before. So it was very, very hard. Um... You guys know I got uh, my U visa because of domestic violence. I lost a son from domestic violence. My newborn child, you know, y'all know the story. When I was like almost ready to give birth, I was thrown in a brick wall. My placenta ripped. But from that, from that struggle came something positive. Because of that, I got my a U visa. For domestic violence and I had that for it lasts for four years and then three years you can file for your green card I did that and um, remember guys it's 15 years I'm fighting deportation and I said you know what I'm gonna do this by myself with the help of God because I remember when God said to me Everything is going to be all right, Cheryl. Why are you crying? Everything is going to be fine. I, I, I got you. Cheryl, I got you. Why are you crying? I got you, girl. But my faith had gotten so weak. And um, I'm saying this to share my testimony because there's persons out there who are going through a similar situation. But just hold the faith. I got my green card. After 15 years of fighting deportation, remember I have a federal charge, a state charge, and immigration charge. And Jesus dropped them all. The immigration gave me a waiver. They pardoned me. And by the help of my God, God is God who do it. Uh, he, he, he was my lawyer. He was my judge. And he was my prosecutor. He has the verdict in his hands. And he had the final decision. I got my green card after 15 years of fighting deportation from domestic violence. That's the only thing that could have saved me. But of course, they need proof. If they don't have proof, you can't get it, you know. And 
I got my green card. When I opened the, the mail, the email, and see a message from USCIS, I was trembling because I'm very traumatized because of what I went through. And when I opened it, it says you're approved for your permanent resident. I get on my knees and I talk to Jesus. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I remember he told me when I was laying in that jail cell, he said, I heard the voice says, everything is going to be all right, Cheryl. Everything is going to be all right. I got my green card. And five years later, guys, this is the completion of my testimony. I went and I filed for citizenship. And um, the first time when I went for citizenship, they say they can't give me any. I passed my civics, English, everything. But they couldn't make a decision on my case right away. Because I, apparently they had to send it to Vermont where they, they, they process domestic violence cases and stuff like that. In my mind, I'm like, oh my God. Although the Lord had told me that everything was going to be fine. So I went. I went home and I started to like, God. Again, I don't want to go through this process. I don't want to go through this thing anymore because I'm so traumatized from it already. And, you know, but um, when I just reflect back on that voice that told me that everything was going to be all right. So I went after five years, I applied for my citizenship. Um, they told me they couldn't give me a decision right away. And then I got a... 30 days, um, like 60 days, they send me another interview. And I'm like, why do they give me a second interview? I already passed that one. Why another second interview? Anyway, I went. I was kind of timid. I was scared. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was very, very scared. And when I went, they called my name. And I went in. The lady says, um, the officer said, we just wanted to get the information, what he was arrested for, blah 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 they have the information right in front of them but they wanted to know if you're gonna lie or something i don't know but they have all my files right there my domestic violence file they have everything on me i told the lady they know i was here for a long time you know I, i've been here i don't leave the country um like that like often or anything like that so she said okay um if we gonna deny you we'll let you know in the mail and we're gonna tell you why and if we're going to um, approve you, we'll send you an oath ceremony in your email or in the mail. That was a Wednesday. So for instance, a Wednesday, I went for that second interview. When I got home the Friday, remember Thursday I did the interview, the second interview. I went in, uh, on Thursday I came back home. Um... I was going to upload some documents that they want to ask me for. I didn't get a chance to upload the document. When I went to check to upload the document, I saw that I got a message from them. When I opened the message, it says that your old ceremony was scheduled. I said, thank you, Jesus. This is, this is the testimony. This is the completion of my testimony. God dropped the charges after so many years of struggling <laughs> so many years of fighting deportation to stay in the country I'm not saying I don't love my Jamaica country I love my Jamaica but I've been here from I was a child and I wanted to go to Jamaica and come back when I please I don't want to go and stuck and I won't be able to come back I don't think I could manage I think I would be so depressed but I remember the Lord told me not to worry. I just I heard that loud voice. I heard this loud voice that says, everything is going to be all right. Sure, don't cry. I'm here for you. So now it's the completion of my testimony. I am a U.S. citizen. God dropped the charges. He dropped my federal charge. He dropped my state charge. I had a felony. And God dropped the charges. The state pardoned me. 
The government pardoned me. I got my papers from the government. I didn't get it from marriage. I didn't get it from father. I didn't get it from mother. I got my papers from the government. The state is who gave me my papers. So this song is for those of you going through it. The same God that did it for me. He's going to do it for you too. I just want to encourage you guys that no matter how it seems like far-fetched as if it's not going to happen for you, it seems as if all hope is gone. But I'm going to leave a testimony to let y'all know that the same God that did it for me, he doesn't really have to be domestic um, immigration problem, but whatever you're going through, that God is going to work it out. He's awesome. He's awesome. I remember writing this song and I, this song just kept coming and I was just crying and this is a reassurance that God was reassuring me that it's not over yet. I'm getting that done on this time. Hi everybody. Hello. Me and Lorna Ogilvy. We're going to a very special day today. Yes. Surprise day. A surprise date we're going on today, guys. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Come on, guys. So she got a date to host. Yeah. Oh, I got it to the thing. Look, I get wet. Yeah. yeah. I got a very special date today. Yeah. Here you we go. The right there. Me? Yeah, man. <laughs> Put the mask on. Really long? Oh. Okay. Yeah, guys. Very special day today. Where? Hey guys, oh. so I am, we're going inside, so I'll talk to you guys later. Hello everybody, it's me, your girl. Yes, yes, so Lorna Ogilvy, she's here with me on my big day. Yes, I am a US citizen now, guys. Yes, eat y'all art out, devil. I am a US citizen. I just collect my citizenship, guys. God is awesome. Join me, guys. I'm going to let you know my journey. And um, you, you guys know part of my story. And now I am officially a U.S. citizen. I'm going to give the rest, guys, and let you guys know the journey. It was a struggle, but I am a U.S. citizen. I'm all right. That's it. That is me, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I am a U.S. citizen. Thank you, Jesus. My God is awesome. It's me, a girl. After all these years, and it's 34 years. Y'all know my struggles, right? I am now a U.S. citizen. It's been a long journey, guys. Thanks for riding with your girl. Thanks for riding with your girl.